how you can to become basically an a python automation tester what are the topics that you need to learn what is the road map you need to follow and the third thing which is very important what are the project that you need to do how many times it happens with you where you want to learn some new concept right but you are not able to do it either you watch like hundreds of videos on youtube you basically have taken some courses where you are not able to do it right you know the topics you know how basically you can learn this particular concept but you are not confident even if even if by following the couple of videos right you are clueless after some times because you don't know the time duration what is the time duration that you need to learn about this topic so whenever i start learning some important concept right for example it can be related to some aws or any other concept right i know there are three things that you should know three strategies that you can basically implement to learn about a, any important topic or any important technology stack that you want to learn all right so in this video i'm going to talk about right let's suppose if i have to learn about python automation blueprint right i want to learn about it right okay pramod i am interested in because python right now it is starting right uh, we are python is something that which i think i have a coding fear i can definitely 100% achieve i can convert myself from manual to automation right so what is the process i need to follow for 3 months which as exactly will tell me the three core strategy the strategy number 1 let's discuss about it the, the first important thing is the topics let me discuss about the topics okay the second strategy number 2 is the road map road map basically talks about what the different how much time it will take to learn about the concept what are the different topics with the projects and what exactly is the process to learn right about this right and the third important thing is what are the different projects that you need to learn so if you are clear with these three things right i am 100% sure that you can to become whatever that you want to learn right which is topics road maps and projects that's how basically i have followed do you have a coding fear and you think that okay java is something which is very difficult to learn then python is exactly the language where you can start your automation journey guys if you are a fresher manual tester who wants to jump into the automation automation is a need of the hour so make sure that you are becoming an automation and you are learning and adding the skills related to automation into your profile so job ready automation tester with python is basically getting started where we are going to cover python api testing and linium in the 3 months of span we, i am assuming that you are basically a beginner total beginner and you are we are going to crack with the live projects okay check out the link below which is how to become a job ready automation tester all right in 3 months I'll see you. You know what? This strategy I have used to learn about API automation, web automation, even Selenium with Java, even Python with Java. So in this video, I'm going to talk about if I have to start learning Python from the scratch and how you can to become basically an a Python automation tester. What are the topics that you need to learn? What is the road map you need to follow? And the third thing, which is very important, what are the projects that you need to do? All right. I hope everyone is ready. So let's get started and let's learn how you can to become a Python automation tester with three secret strategy within a span of three months. All right. let's get started cool so first of all let me open the very important thing so to, you have to know the first thing first topic we are discuss about the topics right i think which is very very important so if you go to the as that dot club as that dot not club as that dot so live right here you can say pi topics right this is where what i have done is i have created a sheet for you okay this sheet basically talks about all the topics that you should know now you you know what what happens how many times it happens with you where you are 100% clear okay pramod what are the different topics you need to clear but there are certain things which are missing in this one right there are there are like few few things which are missing so let me go through them okay if you are learning python right the most important thing that you should be focusing right here is the important diagram where we will discuss about the first thing you need to learn about python then api testing with python then selenium then cicd part and extra things that you can add is like robot framework in this end right after that we you should learn about the live projects you should learn about how to fix your resume that is important thing these master classes we have done it most multiple times you can watch free of cost on the live chat live just go just check out the testing academy slash live where you will find a uh, resume fix and linkedin master class free of cost right but pramod how do i learn python api testing selenium and cicd right so we are discussing all the topics so if we talk about the topics right i think python easiest way will be by using the pycharm you will learn about uh, what exactly is a python programming like let me zoom a little bit let me make it bigger what are the different data types every programming language starts with variables data concepts right where we discuss about loops functions tuples right in python we have tuples dictionary loops functions classes and object this is where the most important thing happens where we will learn about the oops concept for your automation project right this is exactly the thing that you should be knowing it right 
that, I think this is one of the most important thing, which is that is enough to become an, a Python automation tester, which I have used because see, I have 12 years experience. I have worked with multiple times Python projects, right? This is exactly that you need to learn in the Python. Apart from this, what you can do, it is all about your practice. You can do practice on hacker rank. You can do practice on lead code, whichever you are comfortable. Do at least easy challenges. I would suggest at least do like 10 to 15 lead code challenges. Okay. After following this, you need to immediately turn and learn about the API testing with Postman. First of all, you have to know about the core fundamentals of API testing. What is SOAP? What is REST? What are the different methods and right? After that, immediately learn about with API testing with Postman, where mostly what you are doing is you are doing execution part, mostly manual part, not the scripting part, because see, generally we don't use in Postman from execution point of view, right? We generally, oh, sorry, we generally use for execution point of view. We don't create scripts because if you want to do a proper API automation, then you should basically use something which library, which basically give you more liberty, right? More duplicacy, right? That's what you have to do. So that's why we prefer to use certain kind of API automation. So second important point is basically the moment you learn about the API testing, right? You need to immediately jump toward the API automation. So API automation point of view, you need to install and learn about the PyTest, right? Then immediately you can learn after PyTest, you can include request module. Request module will basically help you to uh, do the API testing with different methods and all. After that, you can create your framework followed by the web automation. So in the web automation in Selenium, you can see I have noted down everything like how basically Selenium architecture is there, right? What is the difference between them? How to handle drop down keywords, shadow DOM, all these like SVGs, right? Relative locators, which are new concept in Selenium 4, all these that you need to follow and the new, what is new in the Selenium 4.11.2, which is now there and the cloud grids. After when you are comfortable with this, right, then you need to basically discuss or learn about the CI/CD platform, which is Jenkins and Git, which are basically give you more confidence in this case, right? Not only that, right, apart from this, I think it is very important that you should add some extra skill in Python if you're learning, right? Robot framework, which is a keyword driven framework, which you can basically create. It is nothing but a keywords basically where you will be using. You can basically follow along with this, right? After that, what I recommend is create your automation framework. So here I am basically discussing about a API automation Python in Python that we have created. It is a folder structure that you are basically going to create, right? And similarly, you can do the similar exercise in the web automation also. The moment you do this, right, I'm 100% sure that you feel more confidence, right? So all the topics that I'm discussing about, I have basically linked, I will be looking putting them here in this right? It is, I think it is a roadmap to become a Python automation blueprint within a span of three months. If you follow this rigorously, right? I don't care from where you follow, right? Whatever you are comfortable, how you want to follow. I have noted down all the topics, all the roadmaps, which is required. I am hundred percent sure with, if you give at least one hour per day, you can, within a span of three months, you can complete most of the topics, which are basically mentioned here and you feel more confidence to basically become a Python automation tester. So this is how I will learn. But Pramod, what about the projects? Which project we should do? Right? That is the most important thing, right? I think from the project point of view, I have already mentioned there is a lot of websites which I have basically mentioned. If you go to the website for practice, the first website I would recommend you is HR module. Let me share the HR module with you, right? Uh, it is a orange HR module where what you do is basically you will log in, you will have tables, web tables, static table, dynamic tables. You have window switching actions, all the Selenium important concept you can basically use in this HR module. This is an open source project. You can add to your resume also. This is very, very important. So if you log in here, right here, you will see you can add an employer. You can find it. This is a web table, by the way, here we are discussing. You can delete it. You can verify. You can add an employer. You can delete it. All these concept of Selenium you are going to use in this project. Okay. Not only that, we have uh, basically OpenCart website, which is a famous website similar to the Amazon.com, which you can do login, registration, multiple things you can do, add to card, multiple modules. So this project also you I have showcased on the manual testing concepts video also. I will put down the link below. That is also you can basically do and try out. All right. So all, all these are projects I would recommend you. You can basically go through them for API testing. Also, I have basically noted down. You can note down this link. Right. And the advanced stuff, how to handle or to how to handle token, how to handle API bearer token, all these projects I have basically mentioned here in this one. Right. I hope this is clear. Right. Uh, so if you want to learn, I think the three strategies are now clear, which is topics, roadmap and the project, which I have basically given you. Right. And one more thing, if you so again, 
if you are interested to join a live batch also we are starting in september and right there is a second batch of the python automation blueprint which we uh, which is we are starting everything we are going to cover from this whatever i have discussed if you are serious on the morning wednesday friday if you are serious that okay you want to do a tire shit right link in the description do check it out i'll see you in the live classes we have limited seat make sure you join as a early bird there are a lot of bonuses available all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video Bye -bye.